Hi everyone, it's April Garwood from Banana Moon Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this flower, which is made to look a lot like a purple pansy. So I am working from a written pattern that will be available on my website soon, and when that's ready, I'll have the written pattern free on my website and the link to that in the description for this video. Uh, I'm using worsted weight yarn. I'm using Cascade Yarn Specific and I am using a size J crochet hook. So let's get started with this yellow center. To begin the center, we're going to do a magic ring. You'll lay the yarn across the two fingers of your right hand, bring it around so you have a double uh, strand of it, and then take that off with your left hand, place your hook, through that loop. I'm going to actually make my loop just a bit smaller. Then you're going to take the yarn that's going back to your skein, bring it across the front of your hook, and pull that through the loop, and then yarn over and chain one. And now our loop, or I'm sorry, the magic ring is ready to work in two. So I'm going to begin by putting six single crochet stitches in this loop, and I'm crocheting over both these strands of yarn. I have six single crochet stitches there, so now I'm going to pull this tail to close it. And you can see that I've let this end pretty long. When I'm finished, I'm going to weave that in with a tapestry needle. That's important to keep this center from coming undone, to have a long end woven in. Now I'm going to go into my first stitch and slip stitch to close. And if that's hard for you to find, you can count backwards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. This is the top of my first stitch right here. Let me get that tail out of the way. And I'll slip stitch by pulling through that stitch and then through the loop on my hook. And that finishes the round I'm doing in yellow. So at this point I'm going to fasten off this color. Again, I'm going to leave my end nice and long so I can weave it in when I'm finished. That's going to help make sure that my flower doesn't come undone. And then I'll fasten that off by taking this tail that I've made, wrapping it around my hook, and then pulling that all the way through. And now I'll be working in this cream color. So I'll find the end of that and I'm going to make a slip knot to put on my hook. So I'll cross that over, bring the end up behind my loop, pull that loop only partially through, and tighten it up a bit to put on my hook. Now for round two with this cream color, I'm going to go into the first stitch. That's the same place that I joined into. It's gonna be right here. I'm going to join with a single crochet. So that's yarn across the front of the hook, pull that through the stitch, yarn over and through both loops. So now I've joined with a single crochet and I need a second single crochet stitch in exactly the same place. Then I'm going to make two single crochet stitches in each remaining stitch. I've already worked right here, my next stitch is here. So I'll put two stitches there. If you have a hard time finding those stitches, see how this is kind of big and open? When it looks a little more open like that, that indicates you've already worked there. So you can see how this stitch has been pulled open and this one hasn't. That's because I just worked here. I'm gonna put a second stitch in that same place. And then I'll go into the next one and make two stitches. two stitches in the next one. And in 
one more stitch and I will make two stitches. If you're wondering what this is, it looks like it might be a stitch, but that is actually the slip stitch that I used to join the end of my first round. So I won't put stitches there. If you're feeling unsure, you can go back and count your stitches and make sure you have the right number. I should have 12 at the end of this round. I'm gonna go into that first stitch and slip stitch to join. For round three, I'm going to chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, chain three, skip the next stitch, which is here. After I skip this stitch, I'm going to single crochet in the next one. Chain three, and skip the next stitch. And now I repeat that again, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, and skip the next stitch. Now in my pattern, I have another set of brackets with instructions to repeat two times. And it starts with single crochet in the next stitch. So that would be this one. And then chain five. Skip two stitches and then repeat again. Single crochet in the next stitch Chain five. Oops, I came off my hook there. Skip two stitches. Again, this is the slip stitch under my left thumb. That's the slip stitch I used to close round two. So I'm not counting that. I'm skipping these two stitches and then I slip stitch in the first stitch to join and that's over here. So I'll go under these two loops and work a slip stitch. And then I'm going to fasten off the cream. Leave my end plenty long so I can weave it in when I'm done. Now what I have is five chain loops. I have three chain loops that are a little smaller and two chain loops that are a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to be working with this purple color. So I'm going to find my end and I'm going to make a slip knot. Leaving my end plenty long for weaving in later. And with this purple color, I need to join with a single crochet in the first chain loop, which is, this is where I joined at the end of the last round. So this is my first chain loop. So I'll join with a single crochet. And then I'm going to work five double crochet stitches all in this chain loop. Yarn over and through two loops and through two loops. That's one, two, three, four, and five, and then I'll put one more single crochet stitch in that same loop. And then I'm going to, in the next two loops, single crochet, five, double crochet, and one more single crochet stitch. And then I'll repeat that in the next chain loop.
and one more single crochet stitch. So that finishes the three small chain loops. In these two larger chain loops, I am going to single crochet, double crochet, and then I'm going to make eight treble stitches. We begin those with two yarn overs in there into the chain loop and yarn over and pull up a loop and then pull through two and pull through two and pull through two. So I'll need eight of those. And then a double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch and then I'm going to repeat that for this other large chain loop That's eight treble. I'll do a double crochet stitch and a single crochet stitch. And then I will slip stitch back in the first stitch of this round, which is right here. That joins the end of my round. I will leave my end around six inches long and pull it all the way through this loop and then my flower is finished. Uh, I will need to use a tapestry needle to weave the ends into the back but that finishes this flower. Thanks for joining me. Please like and subscribe and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye.